living as a professional musician is not all roses, but this week we introduce you to one singer-songwriter whose latest work has a patron saint guiding her along the way. Here is artist Marie Miller's Faith Journey in Depth. Marie Miller is no stranger to the stage. The 35-year-old folk pop artist has opened for the Backstreet Boys, toured with Five for Fighting. She's even performed for Pope Francis. You're not alone, you're not alone, you're not alone. But I mean, maybe that was just another little tug on my heart that God was saying, you know, represent, represent the church. That was super special. Now, after nearly 20 years as a professional recording artist in the secular music world, Marie Miller is taking a leap of faith to be a Catholic artist. You made this decision to pivot and step out faith first as this Catholic artist. Tell us about what went into that decision. It came very naturally because I started writing uh, for the next album and I was writing about what I love and who I love most. And when I was writing that, I was thinking of my husband, but also thinking about our Lord and our lady and thinking about St. Therese and thinking about um, kind of these, these relationships that I had um, grown in as I've gotten older. And so I thought, well, I don't think that pop radio is going <laughs> to like a song about the Eucharist. Maybe they would. Um, but it was just really easy for me to, to go, I want to I wanna bring this to the church and hopefully bless um, Bless the church with this new music. This spring, Miller released her first faith album called The Way of Love. The roads these feet have seen. It's a collection of songs she hopes can be played either on the radio or on retreats. Lyrics focus on the Eucharist, women in scripture, and the title song, inspired by the 19th century French Carmelite and doctor of the church, St. Therese of Lisieux. How did you come to create The Way of Love? So I was reading this beautiful quote, which is one of my favorite quotes now of all time by Therese. And she says, how sweet is the way of love? And I thought, wow, the way of love, um, doing everything for love towards love. Um, that's the way that I want to go. How sweet is the way of love? How kind is it that? The singer-songwriter says she developed a devotion to Therese in recent years, even giving a nod to her Little Way spirituality with her previous album title, Little Dreams. Something that I love so much about her is her Little Way, right? And I think about as an artist, I can focus on more likes, more followers, you know, bigger audiences, but that would be the opposite of Therese. Therese who l felt that it was okay to be little and to think of each time I perform, whether it's for 20 people or 100 people, whatever it is, is that it's significant because uh, we need to do even the smallest things for love. Committed now to using her God-given gifts for the Catholic Church, Marie Miller is taking her new album on the road with the Way of Love musical presentation, blending together song and the spoken word to present aspects of St. Therese's teachings. For many years, I didn't really relate to St. Therese at all because I'm thinking she's lived this perfect life. She never committed a mortal sin. Miller says this modern doctor of the church models to us how to accept God's mercy. And so this way of love is a way for sinners. Uh, St. Therese can be a saint for sinners because it's about mercy. What kind of personal encouragement does that give you as an artist? Yeah, I, I have to say it is the only way that I can do this is to know God's mercy because I cannot come and say that I am holy enough or good enough to do any of his art, you know, it's his art to talk about him, you know, is such a beautiful but kind of kind of scary thing, you know. Um, I'm writing songs about the Eucharist, um, about um, Our Lady, about Therese, and at first I was afraid to do it because I just thought I'm not good enough. And the merciful love of God, which is at the heart of the Theresean teaching, is about the merciful love of God. That is why I'm doing it because I'm always hoping to point others towards him, not towards me. With the help of the little flower, this artist is keeping her eyes on Christ instead of the charts. 
but I hope that this music points towards something um, heavenly and, um, and that people are reminded um, of the merciful love of God. Never turning back.